my bird controller uh, was placed in here and there was an error. As you can see, this uh, aluminium uh, sheet is uh, covered with some thermal paste. Uh, but the problem is some kind of plastic sheet here. The problem is that the other sheet was right on top of it without any thermal paste. So, I don't know, something went wrong uh, uh, in the assembly when they were assembling it. So, uh, that maybe turned out to be some of the cause of my controller to actually burn down. But there are other things which I don't like about this is look at the wiring. Now, who the hell understands what's going on here? Some wires are longer, some shorter, some wires are in different colors, and there's no make, doesn't make any sense. Like here is orange, and outside is white. So, the hell, what, what, what the hell, uh, and uh, some wires are like extra long to whom and to where, who knows. And it points out that these, uh, these scooters, especially like maybe this Zero 10X as well, um, they don't have the wiring logic. It's just a mess here. It's just a complete mess. There's, I think they could save a couple of dollars, maybe some something if they just cut all those wires or order shorter wires. But I assume that uh, these are just uh, uh, just like universal kits. They put it together, they screw it up, and they have a scooter ready. So basically, I, I think this is the scenario. This is the case. But anyway, I'll try to try to keep it nice and tidy here and then let's see what happens so after some time you can look at this wiring it's a complete mess you know you I spent some 20 minutes maybe trying to find the correct leads and still there is as you can see another one uh, green red black and the only free one left is is orange and red and black so who, who knows so anyway if you if you unscrew this and disassemble it in parts i think you will have a great challenge putting it back together and another thing which i noticed is some connectors here have plastic uh, let's say ropes uh, over them like connecting them so it doesn't come loose by itself uh, i don't think i need them because they are in clips but what i do think is that when you start putting it back together, all that mess inside there, uh, <laughs> you you will definitely have some high pressure. Maybe of them the leads will end. And here, even here, the engine wire is curled together, bent uh, like like curled together. So I, I can just give a complete one star uh, to the electrical wiring here. It's not that it's bad, but it's it's not thought over. It's completely not thought over. So it's not like you unplug it and put it together. And then I was thinking, what do you need two separate controllers for one electric scooter? You can just have one big part uh, assembled together with no wirings connecting each other together. I, I, I don't understand. To me, it seems like it's a universal, some kind of a products here put together and made like a different, uh, different product called the scooter. So anyway let's put it together let's apply some thermal paste and let's see whether the new the new controller actually works the old one is here and this is the thermal he, heating sink that will go on the top of the uh, on top of the controllers and i will apply some computer thermal paste i know it's not much there but still and let's see hopefully it will manage to work out okay so I try to squeeze that all in and then before you do anything I check whether the wires work and I connected this power wire and it produced some spark noise but I think that is normal and when I turn on when I turn on it indicates that everything is working so so that's okay So, I think everything is screwed together. Now let's just see whether it works.
first gear 37 third gear 73 and the real wheel is spinning and let's just check dual motors ah, some dirt flying around 72 so that's actually more than I managed to get previously so maybe in previous videos the the problem with the controller was already so let's do a test run so okay I did a little bit of driving everything seems okay and uh, I started to touch here uh, where the controllers are no heat but on the bottom you can feel some some warmness there on the bottom bottom where the where the controllers are there is a little bit warm so uh, not hot but warm so in my opinion I'm dog in my opinion uh, the new controller works fine but didn't do any like uh, max speed test because here is a gravel road so you, you can the dirt and etc isn't that fast but I managed to get 45 already so everything is okay now so anyway stay tuned for the next videos and see you guys soon bye